Good morning, Dr. Eric here, Fanwood Back Relief Center, offering back and neck relief to the Fanwood, Scotch Plains, and Plainfield area. Today we're gonna to answer the question, does lowering cholesterol reduce cardiovascular risk? For decades, we thought that elevated cholesterol levels was a major cause of heart disease and stroke. However, recent research has proven otherwise. So in an article published in the BMJ, uh, formerly the British Medical Journal, in 2020, um, an international group of authors discussed the controversy surrounding this topic uh, and who should be prescribed a statin medication to lower the cholesterol, uh, given the fact that they thought that it was going to um, increase risk for cardiovascular events. Uh, individuals with low density lipoprotein cholesterol, LDLC, with levels over 190 were considered suspect for possibly increasing uh, cardiovascular risk. What they found was that in the systematic review of a 35 randomized controlled trials, um, they found that it does not affect uh, cardiovascular risk uh, of a heart attack or stroke. Um, it was not a good measuring stick, the LDLC, for determining whether that elevated cholesterol was gonna um, affect uh, cardiovascular disease. Uh, what they found that did, in other studies in 2018, the Journal of America, American Medical Association uh, did a study called SPRINT, Systolic Blood Pressure Intervention Trial. And they found that there was no significant uh, differences in primary outcomes when comparing patients that took statins that, uh, to lower their cholesterol um, and patients that did not take statins and kept the cholesterol a little bit elevated. It did not have an effect on cardiovascular risk or stroke. So the question is what does affect and cause um, an increased risk for heart disease? Uh, and what they found was that these are the factors that um, without a doubt concluded that it will affect cardiovascular risk. So we're talking about mostly lifestyle factors such as poor diet quality, uh, not being active, being sedentary, uh, ambient air pollution and noise, uh, sleep deprivation, poor gut health, uh, inflammation in the gut, and psychosocial stresses. They all had a direct pathway um, to causing cardiovascular risk um, disease. Uh, all of these factors, the primary uh, driver of this is inflammation. Uh, so reducing inflammation is the primary goal when you're trying to reduce the risk of any type of cardiovascular event. Uh, and to do that, obviously it's the, the converse of everything. So um, we wanna make sure that we have a heart healthy diet, that we limit sedentary behaviors, we're getting regular exercise, it doesn't have to be crazy vigorous or intense, it just has to be something that you do consistently. Uh, maintaining a healthy weight, very important. Uh, not smoking, avoiding excess alcohol intake, getting pro uh, quality sleep each night, uh, and reducing your exposure to pollutants and obviously managing stress, which is the big one. Um, what, what they found was that these were the major contributors to cardiovascular uh, risk in, in regards to heart attack or stroke and not lowering cholesterol. Now that's not to say that lowering cholesterol or managing your cholesterol in an unhealthy range is not a good idea, but in relation to cardiovascular disease, they did not find any correlation, which is very interesting. Um, actually opposite of what we thought growing up um, to be the, 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 the case. Uh, so these are the things you wanna do, basically living a healthier lifestyle. If aches and pains are affecting your ability to live a, a healthy lifestyle, that's where I come into play. I'm here to help you get out of pain as quickly as possible and go about doing the things that you enjoy uh, uh, with your family, with your friends, your hobbies. So if you have any questions about this study or anything else pertaining to getting relief of that neck or back pain, just give us a call, shoot us a message. We're here and always happy to help. Hopefully you have a great day today. Uh, I'm starting to feel a little cool in the morning, which I enjoy. And uh, uh, I'm sure I'll warm up today a little bit as well, but the sun is shining and it should be a great day. We'll see you next time. Thanks for listening.